All right, guys, today I will be going over Lore by Amsel Sweet. This will not be a professional overview of all of the features within Lore, but I will try to uh, timestamp things, and this will just be a raw recording without any kind of edits or takeaways or cutouts. Um, we are currently on version 0.3.1. This is an early access beta, so things are subject to change. I'll go ahead and show you um, how to get started, what lore is kind of about, and what you can do with it. Let's go ahead and launch this here. You'll get a pop-up asking you to create a lore. Um, and this is essentially just the file that you're going to be using um, whenever you go to use lore. So you can name this whatever you'd want, anything that you'll be able to remember. I'm just going to call this test because that's what makes sense to me. So the way that they've set things up here is um, quite interesting, in my opinion, very future-proofed. And what I mean by that is You'll see two segments that are very important here, templates and lore. Now, the way that they do things is they allow you to create templates for everything you're going to write, which anytime you would update or change a template, it will update in your lore. And um, I'll go ahead and I'll show you how this works. So to get started, Anywhere, it doesn't matter where, you're going to press New Template. This will be the first thing you do no matter what. So, um, let's just say, for example, you are going to create a, a people category. This is going to be, I don't know, Kings of the Forbidden Realms. So in your templates, under the people category, you will see your kings of the forbidden realms. What you can do here is pick from any of these three blocks. An image block, text block, or a rune block. So what this will allow you to do is either Upload images, incorporate text, or the runes, which we will get back to the runes in a second here. So what you are able to do with these blocks are expand them however you'd like. You can name them. So if you want this to say profile picture, um, you can have it say profile picture or portrait. Portrait of the King, um, King's Upbringing, I can't spell, but bear with me. And then we will save this rune for a little bit later. Let me show you how this works first. So when you go to your lorry, you'll realize there's nothing here. And that's because you haven't created a page for it yet. What is the difference between a page and a template? Well, let me show you. When you go to make a new page, it's going to ask what kind of template you want to use. So just a moment ago, we created the Kings of the Forbidden Realms under the People category. So what I can do here is, let's call this page King Bob. We have exactly what we set up in our template, which you can access from the template button, or you can go straight to the template from here. Anything you edit here will be edited on that kind of page. So if I need a bigger rune box, suddenly King Bob's rune box is bigger. And what this allows you to do is let's say 
King Bob isn't the only king in the Forbidden Realms. I can create a new page using the template of the Forbidden Realms. Put in King Julian. Now, King Julian and King Bob have the same kind of template. I can insert a photo, I can tell you about their upbringing, or I can use this rune. So let me go back here. I'll show you what the rune here is all about. So these runes are very interesting. Um, they allow you to do a couple of things, and I will show you how that works. You can create the title of the rune. I'm just going to leave this blank for the time being with those dashes. But what it lets you do is either have a drop down list with options or short text. So, for example, what we could do here is get rid of this. You could say, What's their age as a short text? What's their name as a short text? And then sons and daughters as a short text. But then as a drop down, you could put education level. And you could say primary school, let's say, college level or other. So what this does is it creates a, well, a drop down and some short text. Now this is that template that I was talking about earlier. So let's go back to King Bob and King Julian. Now on their page, I can say what their age is, what their name is, in case it wasn't already clear by the page title. Do they have sons and daughters? Not him. What level of education did they have? And this will be different for each page. However, it is referencing the same template, the one that we made here. And anything you change on the template will affect the pages that are connected to them. Um, another thing that is allowed within uh, lore is your inventory, which, as far as I know right now, is just a series of images. So I have these images here. Let me see if it will just let me, it will not let me just drag and drop these. Bear with me. So I will upload all these photos into this folder. And now anywhere that I have a photo, I can just plug it in. And the text boxes work exactly how a text box works. And that has just about all the capabilities of lore already figured out. You will see up here, you can access your inventory um, of photos. Um, this will also show you your folders if you decided to organize these. Um, and you can, of course, name these as whatever you want, whatever helps you organize best. Um, one thing you might have seen as I was going through these is the abs that it makes. As far as I understand, if it is an orange tab, this is the template. So anything you change on this will affect those templates. However, anything that is in this purplish blue color is just a page that you've created.
Um, and while you're on these pages, I think it's worth noting that you can duplicate them or delete them. You can go straight to the template from which they are created, and it tells you what category they're under. So if you created a new template under culture, I'll just throw something here. And you create a new page with whatever title, it will show up in that new category. So just be aware of that as you are going along with your or creation. Um, as far of as far as tools go, um, this is about all Lore has to offer right now. You will find that you can go into certain things and tag other pages. Um, if you have not seen that, and this is the first video, um, you can reference other pages with an at sign. So if I wanted to say, um, King Julian is the son of King Bob, my bad, I could press this button here. And I could go down here and just say, Julian. Now, if you click on this, it will take you to that page. So if you're on King Bob's page and you click the thing that you just tagged, it will take you there. Um, but that basically covers it. That's all there is to lore right now. Um, it can be incorporated with Tome, but I think that's a video for another day.